to my channel. So I know that when I have done um, comparison reviews in the past, those are the kind of videos that you guys like to see the best and are the most helpful for you. So today I am sharing with you um, two Dagny Dover bags. This is the Allen Tote, but I actually have it in two different sizes. So this is the medium size, and then I have the large size here. It also comes in a small version, um, but I think the most popular sizes are the medium and the large because it's a really awesome work bag. And the medium one can hold a 13 inch laptop and the larger one can hold a 15 inch laptop. And I think those are um, pretty common laptop sizes. And so I think that's why these two are pretty popular. So I actually have the large one all packed up right now. So since I have this medium one empty right now, I'll kind of walk you through some of the features. So this one here that I have is in graphite. It has a really beautiful rose gold hardware. And then um, the color is just like a really nice dark kind of charcoaly gray. Also, the material is a genuine pebbled leather. It's really, really beautiful, really nice and soft. There is only one way to carry the bag that is with these tote straps here. Here. I love that it. it's a flat tote strap because you can pack a lot into these bags and so it can get pretty heavy and just having the flat handle makes it a little more comfortable. It has a good drop on it on both the medium and the large size. There's no exterior pockets on the front of the bag but there is a nice exterior pocket here on the back and I think this is perfect for like a cell phone. You can see it goes all the way up to my wrist so it's a pretty good space there. There is hardware here on the handle so you can easily lay the handles flat against the bag which does look really nice it actually has a magnetic closure here but then in the middle it also has this really awesome snap closure this actually is what kind of cinches in the sides it gives you that look that's on the outside of the bag it also helps to keep the bag a um, nice and compact here at the top so that not none of your items are falling out so if you look you can see there is the um, snaps and then if I unsnap it here, I can kind of push the sides out and you can get a better look. Right here, I just have a nice open kind of pocket and behind that is actually your laptop pocket. It does have the same hardware that matches. It's really beautiful and actually says Dagny Dover there. It is a nice like neoprene material. Right here you do have the pocket, it is lined with the leather trim. Then you just have a nice big open space. I really love that even if you have a dark exterior, the interior is gonna be this really fun camo print. Let me turn this around for you so you can see this side of the bag now. On both sides you have some pockets. Um, they're a little bit different though, so on this side you have a nice big slip pocket, and then on this side you have a water bottle pocket that is removable, so I can take this little sleeve out and then you have a little more space inside your bag if you need it. You have the uh, detachable key leash. Back here, there's a nice long zippered section, nice and big there. And then two slip pockets, two like pen loops here. I'm actually just noticing this now. On the large one, there's actually another pocket right here. So I guess it is a little bit different. There's another um, little pocket right here that I'll show you as I unpack the large one for you. I did want to mention that there are no feet on the bottom here, but you do have these extra like strips of the leather to kind of raise the bag up a little bit, but it is a nice durable leather that is really easy to wipe off and maintain and keep clean. All right, so here I have the large Allen, and this is actually in the Onyx print, and you can see that with the Onyx, you actually get a really pretty dark black material here. On the front, it just looks really nice and sleek, and then on the interior, the same thing for the hardware there on the buttons. It is a black material. And let me just unbutton that there so I can show you how I've got this all packed up. I was gonna pack this just as like a kind of work bag and then I actually was able to fit some of my like toddler items that I might need as well. So this is kind of showing you both um, kind of things in here and mostly just like the capacity of what this awesome bag can hold. So right here on the key leash, I have my keys and they are attached to this little key ring. Next to that, I have an itsy ritzy pouch. I will link all of these items down below. Um, but in here in this little cube set that I have, this is the smallest one, I'm actually keeping the charger for my computer. 
Next to that, I have the medium piece. And in here, this is where I'm keeping wipes. And then there's a pull up in here. There's a wet bag. And I even have some baggies down here for like dirty or soiled clothes. So this is kind of my little toddler bag section. Now you can see everything else is in a pocket. So right here, I have a 40 ounce water bottle, which is really, really nice and big. Normally I would just carry a 24 ounce water bottle, but it does fit in this sleeve here. So I did want to show you that it will fit into um, this bag. It doesn't close as well when I have such a tall water bottle. And um, let me show you a smaller one. Here is a 24 ounce water bottle. Still fits in there really great, but you, I am able to um, close it a little bit easier and it actually stays. And um, whereas when I'm using the 40 ounce water bottle, it's a little bit harder for that magnet to actually stay closed. But it is a really nice strong magnet, which I love. Again, you have a nice big pocket on this side. In here, I am keeping a Lily Jade packing case. This is all of like the toiletry stuff, med stuff. Um, there's actually quite a bit in here. I have lots of like medicine. I have hand sanitizer. I have deodorant, lotion, sunscreen, all that good stuff is inside of here. And I love that it's a clear case so I can see everything that I need really nice and easily. All the items that I'm mentioning, I will have links down below so you can check those items out. Right here in this neoprene um, slip pocket area, I have my um, day designer planner from Target. And then I also just have a notebook for myself. And then back here in the um, laptop section, I am keeping my 14 inch laptop. This bag will also fit a 15 inch, so you can see I still have some room there to work with. And I love that the color of the hardware is the same on all the um, zippers and zipper pulls on the interior of the bag. Let me turn this around for you here. Okay, so here is the difference actually. On the medium one, I had two slip pockets here and then my pen loops. In this one, I have one big slip pocket right here and then I actually have a leather pocket here on this one and it has another section that kind of goes diagonal right there. And in this little section, I am keeping um, my earbuds. And then I also have my mouse here. This is also a great place um, for like your cell phone if you didn't want to put it on the outside of the bag, which is what I actually am carrying on the outside right now. In the pen loops here, I am keeping a pen and then also a um, Shine Cosmetics lip gloss. This is in the color Goals. It's a really, really pretty um, neutral color. I can link this down below for you as well. Okay, so in this slip pocket right here, I am keeping a Kindle and then also I have my wallet there. This is the Dagny Dover accordion wallet in the color bone. So it's in the same um, leather material, just in the um, bone color, which is really, really pretty. Okay, now in this zippered section back here, you actually have quite a bit of space. It goes down almost to the bottom of the bag, so you have quite a lot of room to work with here. I have a snack in there. I'm also keeping some wet ones, some tissues and then my tied to go pen is down there as well. Okay, so that's everything that I had inside the large. I did have more space here on top if I needed to throw in like a sweater or something, um, but keep in mind throwing more items in does make it a little bit harder to keep the bag closed and also it tends to get pretty heavy if you um, pack it really really full it can get pretty um, cumbersome on your shoulder like that so just keep that in mind as you are packing this up i think what i want to do is take all the items that i had in the large and see if i can fit them in the medium just so you can see the difference in size before i do that though let me just show you what they look like side by side here is the medium over here and here is the large large. You can see the large is just a tiny bit taller. That's what they look like from the side. And then there is the back. If I hadn't got the bags at the same exact time and seen them side by side, they're not a huge difference except when it comes to um, the laptop area. I think this is just a little bit wider here and just a tiny bit taller. So there's really not a huge significant difference in them. And I thought um, when I grabbed them that I was going to like the medium better just because I thought the large might be a little too big and too heavy. But actually, now that I have tried both of them, I think the large size is actually the one that I would go for. 
because it doesn't feel too big and it seems to just give you a tiny bit more room to work with. And I think with all your items, the bag closes a little bit better. So if I was going to make the choice between the two, I think I would save up and actually go for the large size. Now, this is something I thought was pretty interesting about um, this medium size is even though I have a 14 inch laptop and this is actually meant for a 13 inch computer, I can actually fit my 14 inch in here. It's a, it's a little bit of a squeeze, but not too much. And um, I can actually zip it up and everything. You can see there's still room on top there to work with. So if you do have a 14 inch laptop, you can make that work inside of the medium size. I have both my planner and my notebook here. Let's see if they fit into this neoprene um, kind of slip pocket here. And they do, so that's great. Let me snap back in the um, pocket here, the cup holder. So again, I can put my 40 ounce water bottle inside of this pocket, but it is pretty tall for the bag and it's hard to close it. So I think I'm gonna go for the um, 24 ounce and put that in there. And then, and then hopefully the bag will close a little bit easier. I have the Lily Jade packing case that I'm going to put in the side. It looks like it might be a little bit tighter in this pocket. It seemed like it fit better into the large. Okay, yeah, it's kind of in there, but it's pretty, um, pretty tight pocket. So let me turn this around here and show you this side. Oh, I forgot, I'm gonna put my cell phone here on the outside. I'm going to put my um, Kindle here in this pocket. I'm gonna take my earbuds and put them in the other pocket on this side, and then also my mouse. In the two pen loops, I'm going to put a pen and a um, lip gloss. In the back zippered section, I'm gonna put those um, same items. This is still a really nice, big, roomy section. So I have my Tide to Go pen, I have a wet ones and a tissues, and then also a little um, snack as well. It's gonna fit in there just fine. Oh yes, I have my wallet here that I will put in the same pocket that I did before with the um, Kindle. Now, I don't know if my other items are going to fit because I did have a little more room in the large, but I know I need my charger for my computer, so I'm definitely gonna put that in there. I'll put it right over here in this corner, kind of make some more room there. And then here is the um, bigger piece that has all of my toddler needs in it. And actually, that will fit in there just fine, um, but it seems like everything's just a little bit tighter and I feel like I just had a little bit more wiggle room, warm room to work with inside of the large one. Here is the um, key leash, so I'm gonna put my keys back on here and just kind of tuck them down right there and then snap the bag. So you can see everything's just a little bit more tight, a little bit more compact, but if you're not bringing this much stuff with you, I think that the medium size would be a great fit for you. It's all gonna depend on um, how much you tend to carry when you're out. Between the graphite color here and the um, black color, I feel like they're both really, really beautiful options. Um, if I had to choose one, I think the graphite would be the color that I would choose just because it's a little more unique. The um, rose gold hardware here is very beautiful and kind of pops off of the bag, whereas um, this here just kind of blends in with the bag. I think it depends on what you're going for and what your preference is, but um, those are just my thoughts on the different color options. So there you go, there are the two um, medium and large Allen totes from Dagny Dover. If you have any questions about these bags, please leave them in the comments below. I feel like there's no other tote on the market like this bag, so it's truly unique and special and it has so much organization and really cool features in there. So I definitely am a fan of this particular style. Even though normally I like bags to have like a zipper on top to keep things in, for some reason this bag just works and is really functional. And I think a lot of people that have this bag can attest to um, how awesome it is. So thanks for checking out this comparison. I will have a link in the description box below so you can check out Dagny Dover and I will see you guys in my next review.